Aloha friends! Welcome back to another video of Kicking It with Kay. Today we are doing something really exciting that I've been wanting to share with you. We're going to do some planting, repotting, and try to revive this alive. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on the best way to keep your plants thriving. And I wanted to introduce you to somebody on my channel. This is Chloe. This is our pet gal, Chloe, here. She is always by my side. Anytime I'm over here, I'm at my mom and sister's again. So without further ado, if you want to learn some planting and kind of get to know me and Chloe a little bit more, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna go ahead and put my glasses on. It's pretty bright out here. We're probably gonna get to this plant last and I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of this. Okay, so I have a couple of different planters um, this plant right here is definitely dead. We're going to repot this guy, but these are all foliage house plants. Um, right here we have a spider plant. This really, really, really needs some love and attention here. This is a foliage. This needs a lot of bright lights. And these guys are the mother of all mother plants. These can last forever in water, dirt, whatever. These can grow phenomenally and cover a whole wall. They grow almost vine-like. These are called Pothos Golden. These can last for a very long time. These are my mom's favorite, favorite, favorite plants. What are some of your favorite plants that you guys like to have in your home? Is it cactus? Do you like more succulents? Succulents can be a little bit hard to take care of, but um, future videos I'll probably have something for you there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And what I like to do to give you a little tip is this plant I have already taken out of the dirt and we're gonna do something with this later. I'm gonna set it in this pot here and there's nothing wrong with the dirt inside this pot. So we're gonna use this in recycled dirt because I don't have a bag of soil, which is fine, but we have enough here and I have enough in plants over on this side of the garden that I can take out of instead of buying a full new bag. So right here, I'm gonna kinda come around. You can pull this plant out of the root. This is done. I have a little bucket I'm throwing things over. And I don't use gloves when I garden. Just go ahead and kinda start digging that dirt out. You can set it in a little one here. This is going to really thrive and grow a lot more. This can even be sat and saturated in water. Okay, first plant done. Now let's move on to the foliage. We can put this guy in probably this pot. It would probably do really good. Well, see. It almost fits a little too perfect, but that seems to be okay. We'll go ahead and use this one. You can kind of get some of that root bound out, kind of loosen up that root, give it a little shake, stick it in that pot, push down, and then get your dirt, put your dirt in there. Awesome, beautiful foliage plant. Planting is so absolutely therapeutic for me. It's something that I totally, totally enjoy and I love doing. And I love coming over and helping my mom out. She's a busy gal, so when she can't get to her planting, I come over when I come to visit and I do it for her. She's had these here for a couple weeks and I have, haven't gotten a chance to get to them yet, so she'll be pretty surprised. But yes, there we go, foliage. Nice hat. <laughs> okay, let's kind of pack that in. Second plant done. And planting, people think planting is really intricate, it's really difficult, and it's not. Planting is very, very, very easy if you just do it correctly and you water correctly. Okay, so our first Pothos Golden they get stuck on each other. You gotta be careful. This is a gorgeous one. It's huge. Just get it out of there. 
we're going to put it in this pot here. I like to loosen up those roots because they'll get root bound if you don't and then they can get root rot. And my mom has always cut up clay pots. She takes a clay pot and breaks them and puts them in the bottom to retain moisture and also once the water seeps in it takes a little while for that water to seep through those clay pot particles and they stay pretty moisturized so it's nice to have it flow down because it keeps the plant revived so we got some of that dirt left over from this pot see we're just recycling it why go buy potting soil when you can just use and recycle we like to use miracle grow or organic soil i can link some stuff down below um, what are your hiccups and things that you have trouble with when you're planting? Like, what are some things that you want to know or that you're interested in? Because my plants are always thriving. I never seem to have a problem with killing plants, with keeping them alive. I am just really good with my plants. I take very, very special good care of them. Get a mess here. <laughs> So it's nice because you can clean it up. All right. And I am wearing the skirt from Sheen in my Sheen haul. Thought that was pretty cute. Love it. It's a really cute wraparound. It does open up like kind of little frisky on the side there. <laughs> All right. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, Savinia. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set this one over here because we're running out of room here. Okay. Next plant. Let's put this guy. We can actually put these together. Let's put these two together. That's what we'll do. Yep. That's what we're going to do because there's less plant in these and more dirt. So if you see... Once you start breaking it up, all that dirt is going to fall off. Keep them together. Keep them together. Okay. Now we're cooking. Yeah, just get nice and messy and dirty. Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> okay. Kind of just shove it in there. Now look at that. It's more full. It's more supple and plump like lip gloss, <laughs> like your favorite lip gloss. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in California today. Oh my God, it's like almost 90 something. I'm not sweating yet. I'm probably gonna lay out after this, get my tan on. My next video, what I really wanna do is like a summer's favorite. I wanna do like a, like summer, like SPF and sun tanning lotion. Maybe that can be my next video. Comment down below on what you guys would like to see in my next video. Give me some ideas. I got plenty, but let's see what you guys want to see. Okay, done with this guy. We're going to take the leftover dirt. See what I mean? You don't need to constantly be buying soil if you have a lot of plants around that already have soil in them, repurpose, reuse it. And you can give the plant a little shake to even out the dirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even it out here. Chloe is so cute over here. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Chloe. Chloe is our family dog. She is the most neediest dog. She's a Welsh Terrier. She is absolutely obsessed with me. But we have another dog here named Ruffles, and they're best friends, so they can't be separate. He's a little bit older than Chloe. But Chloe is my girl. She is that my mom and sister have a gopher problem in the grass. Let me just show you. Let me just turn towards and show you what she's doing. She's sitting here looking for gophers. Sorry about that rug. We're washing it and cleaning it. But look at her. She is just waiting for that gopher. Chloe! Chloe! 
<laughs> Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> That's Chloe. That's Chloe for you. Anyway, get back to our planting. We're almost finished here. Almost done. Almost the home stretch. All of these empty ones, that's a great sign. Made a huge freaking mess, but that's okay. So let's get on to the sick plant. Because this is probably what everybody's wondering. Okay. When you have a sick plant like this, you can still revive this. Because it, there's roots. You want to grab all the roots. Put my glasses up. You want to grab the roots and you want to start taking off these dead leaves. Take the dead leaves off, find the root, and you're going to place this entire plant in water. Or at least the good pieces. So see, root right here. See how this is dying? You want to take that off. Just cut it and peel it off. Get off these dead leaves. This one's fine, ready to go. Get this one. Root is fine on it. Take the dead leaves off and you're going to just do that throughout. Okay, and there you have it. Here is all your roots, and now what you're gonna wanna do is find a tall enough pot to put these into about right here. This needs to be fully submerged in water, and the water needs to be changed at least once a week, and then move it to twice a week if it starts getting really mucky. Okay, so this is what I have. My, these are awesome. My mom picks these up at TJ Maxx. You can put little candies or um, cotton balls or Q-tips in them. These are just fantastic. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to submerge these into the vase. How many years old were you when you were told that a vase is called a vase? <laughs> Just like this. And it's not the most appealing, but once this thing gets water inside of it, there's already roots. Roots are going to start growing and then you can repot this in another pot. Okay, now all we have left to do is water, so give me one sec. All right, you guys, that is it for this video of Kicking It With Kay. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.